everybody, it's day number three. We're here at Walt Disney World and we are up early today for some swim time before we head back to the parks. We need some relax time and Aubrey is about ready to go in this pool all by herself. You ready? Okay, go ahead. What? That's an entire giant pool just for you. So a uh, little known fact, if you come and stay here at the Port Orleans uh, Resort, this is a diff, there's like several pools on the property. And this one is close to um, the Riverside one where the, the uh, food, areas and muddy rivers I think is what the bar is that's over here but it's got this private area like wading pool which is great then they've got the slide over there with some water stuff it's about a three to four foot deep pool so it's perfect for families um, and they do provide swim jackets as well we brought ours but you know if you didn't bring one they have that as well So all in all, I'd say um, the resort, I love. I love the Port Orleans. I love the French Quarter one. The French Quarter, actually, I like a little bit better. This one's so spread out, so there's a lot of walking. But the Royal Suite rooms are better. So, you know, it's kind of like one of those things. Do you want to walk more? Do you want to have a Royal Room? You know? But this is definitely the property we'll probably always stay at. I love it. Literally in a lot of pain. Um, two days killed me as far as walking. My feet are killing me. My knees are killing me, which is crazy because I thought I was training for it. No, it's it's really, really hard. So we have decided our next vacation that we'll be taking here, which is probably going to be around the same time in a year from now, we're going to put more days on our Disney part of it. And that way we don't have to rush to get everything done from, you know, the clock in and clock out of the park openings and closings that you can like spread it out like I'm going to do today. I said, I'm not doing all that crazy park stuff. And she really is getting worn out too. I mean, she is three years old and she said that her feet were hurting and her legs were hurting. So we're letting the adult kids go do the fun, crazy stuff and ride all the big rides that they can't ride when they have Aubrey with them. You know, <laughs> and then later this afternoon, if I'm filling up to it, I think I will head into the parks with them. If not, I'm just going to take a day off because I physically am exhausted. My leg is killing me and I'm not going to force myself to be in such pain. I mean, I was literally walking and like grimacing and kind of crying. That's how terrible it was. Uh, one thing, a uh, suggestion to help the Disney parks. They need to add more water fountains that are actually ice cold because um, the water fountains that they do have in the parks are kind of gross. They're, they're not cold and it's very difficult to find places that have the water spigots. They're supposed to have these like buckets of water that are ice water, but they're not really easy to find. And when it's packed and you're hot and it, you need to have something icy cold, it makes it really hard. So, suggestion, fix your water situation a lot so that it's a lot more accessible to everyone. And, uh, cause there were a lot of people that were getting hurt yesterday from heat exhaustion. We saw it happen on one of the rides, it was pretty sad. So, that's just my only suggestion. Other than that, I think things are going great. I love my vacation so far. All right, I'm going to let Aubrey enjoy her time. And then I, next time I see you, hopefully I will be up and feeling better to go in the parks. Okay guys, what's up? I am sitting here and we are 
we have this beautiful view right here with the little river going by. And when we got done in the pool, Aubrey went down the slide three times by herself. It was really, really awesome. But now she is having a snack and she has selected, ta-da, show us what you got. The biggest M&M cookie ever. That looks delicious. Is it yummy? Yeah. yeah? You can pull it apart. Watch this. You can pull it apart. And then what do you do with it? And how would you say? Is that a thumbs up? It's a thumbs up. All right. And now what I got is I got I a cupcake, cupcake. And it is called the pumpkin cheesecake cupcake. They have a lot of really cool um, cupcakes and things like that in their pumpkin or in their bakery area. And this is the one I try, I'm going to try out. It's the pumpkin cheesecake uh, cupcake. I have no idea what this is going to taste like. So we're going to try this together. <laughs> Aubrey, look, it's the Disney boat. The Disney boat. We like to see the Disney boat. Huh? Yeah, that's what we've been singing every time the Disney boat goes by. Okay, so here we go. We got some pumpkin. It almost kind of looks like pumpkin pie-ish. Oh my gosh. If you love pumpkin pie, that's pretty much what this is. It's a pumpkin pie shaped like a cheesecake. Yeah, this is actually cranberry, not raspberry. I was wrong. So yeah, it's a very cool thanksgiving -y fall kind of cupcake. Very delicious and refreshing. Mmm. Wow. Really good. It's almost kind of like a mousse. That is the hotel rooms that are behind me with the other pool. That's more like a laid back adult pool. <laughs> and the one that we were at today was more like I'm a kitty pool. So we are done with having our snack and then we are going to go upstairs, get dressed, and go to the parks again, right? We're getting some money and we're doing what? Money tree. Money tree? Oh, because Aubrey wants to press some pennies today, don't you? Yeah. So we're gonna do the penny press. Yep, that's what we're gonna do after this. So we're gonna go upstairs, get dressed for the next day of Walt Disney World, do the penny press machine, and maybe we'll go over to one of the parks. So this is turning our pennies into... What did you get? Wow. Is that Mickey Mouse? Okay, pick a new one. Mickey Mouse. Who's that one, Abby? Jasmine. Yeah, Jasmine. Okay. You want to show them? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay, pick the last one. Ready? The print. and we'll count them all, okay? Hey guys, what's up? We are here at the Port Orleans. We're still just kind of hanging out before we go to the parks tonight. And Aubrey is in the arcade playing some video games. And they have a little kid driving cars. Drive a car, it's really cute. <laughs> so once we get done with this, Billy has to fly back to Arizona because he's got to get back to school. And uh, it'll be just me and the girls tonight. And uh, we're going to probably go to um, Hollywood Studios and have her go see the Beauty and the Beast show and maybe Fantasmic. So we're going to do that tonight. And today's been a really comfortable, laid back day. This is another thing I love about this place it's a lot of simple amenities. Almost! Get it in that basket! You can do it! 
Almost. Keep going. Shoot all that stuff down. Guys, what's up? It's Coach Megan. It's day number three of our adventure here at Walt Disney World, and I'm gonna tell you, it is the most laid-back day out of it. We are all in pain. I have on this knee brace. I have nasty blisters all over my feet. Um, my hip is hurting, and I'm not the only one. Madeline and Courtney are going through it, and even Aubrey. So today, we decided to skip the parks, although Madeline did end up going to the parks with her brother this morning. Um, <laughs> and we just decided to go ahead and make this a lazy day. We've been hanging out. I took Aubrey to the pool this morning. Um, I did a live video from there, so to give you guys an update, and, uh, then now we're gonna just hang out again at the pool. We were gonna go over to MGM, but I keep saying MGM, like that's what I remember it being, but it's actually Disney Hollywood Studios. So we were gonna do that, but instead, we're gonna just chill, relax, get a really good night's sleep, and then tomorrow, with it being our last day at Walt Disney World, we're planning on making that be the day that we do the, um, last days at Hollywood Studios and then um, ending the night with some fireworks from the Magic Kingdom. So in the meantime, I wanted to show some of you guys what the Royal Room looks like. And I have to tell you, I'm very, very highly impressed with this room, especially if you have a little girl who's obsessed with princesses or even a little boy who's obsessed with princes or princesses himself. So we have all these like bus, head bus of the princes, which I think is really cool. The table here has like our letter from Princess Tiana. Here's our other princes like Prince Aladdin, Eric and Charming. I love the decor that's all around with the crowns and stuff like that around where the um, doors are on for the TV and then we have it here as well and then this part is really cool look at this that's the aladdin lamp or aladdin carpet which is really cool and then over here on the side where my suitcase is sitting that is the little bench that's the dog in beauty and the beast we have um a really cool princess tiana it's kind of 3d you can't really tell over here is our wall of princesses and then here is the best part of the room, which is the beds. And these are the most comfortable queen size beds I've ever slept on. I literally have been crashing, so good job Disney on that because when I'm tired from being in your parks all day, definitely need a good rest and this has been an excellent, excellent rest. Now in the bathroom, it's pretty traditional bathroom. But what makes this extra special is of course, we have the glitter in the um, tile here, and then this cool Aladdin lamp. That's the faucet. Um, wonderful mirrors. There's jewels up in where the lights are, which is super cool. Up here is this really cool wallpaper that has like, there's Pascal. It's like the sidekicks of the princesses, which I think is really, really cool. And here is the bathroom with this gorgeous little like a dingle hopper, or a snark blast, um, you know, the starfish and stuff like that, which goes along with that princess thing. Um, and then of course the shower with a nice bench and you get these soaps that I've been using the whole time I've been here, which has been great. Um, then you also have like a safe, you have your ironing board, this really nice shelf, some hanging stuff. We got a waste basket, of course. And all the other little like extras, like this lamp is just gorgeous. I mean, it's just, it really is a gorgeous, even the like the air conditioning unit has some gorgeous touches to it that makes it just feel very royal. Now, the best part of this whole room is this. And I'm gonna put up the camera so you can see what I'm talking about. So just watch as I do this. You're gonna flip. Just keep, just keep watching. On the side of these two 
backboards. There's these buttons. You hit the buttons and voila. We have a fireworks show that is sitting there in the swamp of Tiana's land, I think is what it's supposed to be. Yeah, it's it's really, really flipping cool. Um, I'm not gonna lie, it was probably one of the best hotel experiences I've ever had, and I'm okay with that. I think that's pretty cool. I mean, the price is a little pricey, but who wouldn't wanna come home to having fireworks above your bed? Like, that's, that's just flipping cool. So, <laughs> I think that's gonna be pretty much it for today, um, for my vlog today. I'm gonna keep it laid back and simple, just like the other videos were. Now, tomorrow will be another jam-packed, then on Thursday, we transition over to Universal. So if you're a fan of Universal Parks and Harry Potter, those are the vlogs you're gonna wanna stick around and watch and uh, check out. Now I have to give some shout outs. We have met some amazing people on this trip. Uh, one is a wonderful lady from the UK. Her name is Kat. She's pretty much become our like you know, hangout buddy that we've been hanging out with after we've been in the parks for a couple days. Her and Billy have like been hanging out a lot and they've been building like a pretty cool relationship and actually have become Facebook friends and uh, we are all talking about possibly one day coming together where we go and do Disneyland Paris. Like that would be crazy. And then going to the UK and then experiencing what it's like to do Disney in another country. Like, holy. <laughs> like, I, I really, and like, Courtney is all about it now. She's super excited because she's also been telling, Kat's been telling her about the Harry Potter experience that they have there as well. So, I mean, it's just gonna be amazing if we can put this all together. Um, and then we also met this really cool dude from um, here in Florida, and his name's Mike, and we're hanging out with him tonight. So we're having a great time, and uh, that's what vacation should be. So I gotta go, my phone's ringing. I'm supposed to be down at the pool. Um, if you like our series on our Disney Family Vlog series, make sure you hit that subscribe button because obviously we're gonna keep doing more of this kind of stuff in the future. And if you like today's video, give it a thumbs up. And uh, yeah, so I will see you guys tomorrow and have a magical fireworking day. Okay, peace out, bye. It's Coach Mickey. We are here for our last day at Walt Disney World and we are going to spend the day at Magic Kingdom and it's me and the girls and I've got some new friends with us. This is Kat. Hi. And over here is Michael. Yes, we met them at our hotel and uh, we're going to all hang out. We're kind of a misfit crew. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. Picking up strength. <laughs> yes. So, and I've lost my voice. Uh, from my sickness, but I did have a nice day yesterday just chilling and relaxing by the pool. But today is going to be the day I get to see the fireworks. I'm really excited. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Ooh, let's go have some magical fun. <laughs>